Hey Zach, so I started watching One Piece. Um, isn't that the anime with like over a thousand episodes? Yeah, I mean, it is pretty long, but it is so good. You would love it. Yeah, I'm not watching it. Wow, so quick to say no. You didn't even think about it. It's a thousand episodes. Who's got time for that? Please, you play Minecraft all day. Yeah, it's Minecraft, duh. You know what, we can argue about that later, but my point is there are some awesome characters that I wanted to see if you could do their fighting styles in real life, but I can't figure out which one I should start with. Well, just pick one and see where it takes you, but uh, I got blocks to mine. Oh, uh, you are literally no help, but whatever, it's fine. We'll go with uh, Black Leg Sanji, yeah. How to fight like Black Leg Sanji. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators in the superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja. Now today is going to be another entry into one of my personal favorite series on my channel, the Fight Like a Superhero web series. But if you have no clue what that series actually is, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, I break down and teach you how you could learn the fighting styles of different superheroes. But it's not just superheroes though, any characters from movies, TVs, cartoons, video games, and even even anime can be on this show. Which brings us to today's episode. I'm going to be taking a look into the world of One Piece, a world of pirates and fruit that gives superpowers. It's like one of my favorite shows that my wife and I watch together. So I figured let's get started with one of her favorite characters on the show, Blackleg Sanji, the cook for the Straw Hat Pirates. Being the fifth member on the crew, and in my opinion, the third strongest, Zoro is the goat, I will die on that hill, fight me in the comments. Sanji has a dream of finding the chef's paradise and will cook all around the world until he finds that place. In fact, being a chef is so important to him, he literally refuses to fight with his hands. Jazz hands. I don't know why I did that. That's, that's a dumb joke. <laughs> He believes that the hands of a chef are meant for food only, and his fighting style reflects that spot on. Canonically, his style is called Black Leg Style, hence, you know, his name. This style has a complete emphasis on kicks and only uses his hands for acrobatics. Even like, even his blocks are just with his legs. This man has taken punches that he could have blocked with his hands just because he couldn't get his legs there in time. That, my friend, is called dedication. And this is actually pretty cool because canonically, there are actually a list of moves in this fighting style. Many of them are named after fridge dishes or, or food items, like kotele, meaning rib, and literally being a handstand kick to the ribs. Yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce French words that well, so, uh, sorry. However, if you want me to break down some of his actual individual moves and get this video to like, I don't know, 50 likes, 50 likes, and I'll make that happen. And of course, hit me with that HBO special by, you know, helping a brother out and hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos, provided you wanna see them. But what about actual real life martial arts? What styles could you train in real life to make this style of fighting work? So let's look into how Sanji uses his style in the field. Well, I mean, on the seas, but. That's beside the point. Sanji seems to mainly use different variations of three to four different types of kicks. Those kicks being rounds, hooks, sides, and the occasional front. For those that don't know, rounds come across the body horizontally, hitting with the shin or top of the foot. Hooks are basically rounds, but backwards. They're hitting with the heel or sometimes the back of the calf. Sides go straight into their target, like the name implies, leaving from the side of the body, usually hitting with the heel or blade of the foot. And fronts are also straightforward kicks, hitting with the ball or heel of the foot straight in front of you. And Sanji uses each of these kicks for different purposes. His sides and front kicks tend to be faster and lighter, being able to send a barrage of kicks to overwhelm his targets, while his roundhouse kicks and hook kicks tend to be a little bit slower, but with that trade-off being much more powerful. And the power in these kicks is likely why he tends to favor the round kicks. To best learn these kicks, I suggest going with a base of Taekwondo. I feel like everyone has heard of Taekwondo before, but just in case, it's a Korean martial art that specializes in punching and more importantly, kicking techniques. Practitioners pride themselves on being able to throw head height kicks, spinning kicks, jumping kicks, and everything in between. It's actually one of the styles I have a black belt in. 
But Olympic style Taekwondo is especially good for Sanji style because they actually do almost exclusively use their legs. And those legs are blinding fast. Like they can put their big toe up your nose before you even register that they moved at all. So definitely start with that. But Taekwondo is not enough on its own. Sanji truly only uses his legs, which includes his blocks. So conditioning is a must. And who are some of the best conditioned fighters in the world? Muay Thai practitioners, for sure. Also referred to as Thai boxing, Muay Thai is a martial art and combat sport that uses stand-up striking mixed with various clinching techniques. But you really aren't gonna need most of that for this fighting style. You're really in it for the kicks and leg conditioning. These are the guys that strengthen their legs enough to slice through a bat like it was butter. Their shin blocks are legendary. They can use their shins to block kicks and end up breaking the person's leg that kicked them. I mean, that's basically real life hockey. You can't tell me that it isn't. So make sure to find the most intense Muay Thai school in your area and make sure not to break your legs in the process. Now there is one other style you need to make this work. Like I said, Sanji does a ton of acrobatic moves during his fighting. Now usually on this series, that would end up being like gymnastics or parkour, but that's actually not the case here. Personally, I suggest learning capoeira instead. Capoeira is a Brazilian martial art that combines dance and acrobatics to hide their attacks. They did this because the original creators were slaves and weren't allowed to truly train martial arts. Practitioners are able to throw kicks from handstands, spins, and any other acrobatic move that they can think of. They do this by controlling and manipulating how they move their body weight around. They can do some pretty impressive movements and still put incredible power into their techniques and in some cases even put more power into their kicks than a more traditional version of the exact same kick. So let's recap. In order to fight like Black Leg Sanji, member of the Straw Hat Pirates, here's what you're gonna need. Olympic style Taekwondo for their amazing kick training, Muay Thai for their hockey level conditioning, and Capoeira for their acrobatics and body control. Mix all that together and with a little bit of luck, you'll be able to be kicking like a straw hat yourself. Now make sure to check out the links down below for awesome merch. And if you want this Law One Piece hat, definitely check out, I'll have it linked down there for you guys as well. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja and I'm out. If you like this video, you might also like the Tylee Chi Blocking